freight wave sonar. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen it all the time. I go on freight waves like daily and uh, you're like the first person I've actually talked to that, that has it. I heard it's really expensive. What you were, what you were talking about right there about the whole, you know, people are trying to create, you know, cra crazy stuff or, you know, harder, trying to fix bigger problems. And then, you know, there's small little applications that, yeah. you know, make things so much easier and are going to streamline processes, make, make the industry run smoother as a whole. I'd say sonar is like right there on the edge of that, just being too okay. far, but also, you know, it is for people that can adapt to it and it's going, it completely changes the game. Um, now they did have, when I first bought it, it was a contract rate market and it was kind of, it was bitch based off of, like, you know, set lanes and it was about tender, tendered freight. You, you, you could only see tendered, uh, contracted tendered freight. Okay. And, and I kind of went through a, a couple months where I was like, you know, it is kind of cool to see what the other contract rates are if I want to bid on it, something like that. But, you know, with the spot market, how we are right now, you're, you pretty much need to stay away from contracted rates as far away as you can from contracted rates, unless, you know, you're going, you're constantly finding yourself in a shit area. But Sonar for me, I mean, once they came out with the spot market tool where it's, you know, you can see it actually is giving, supposedly it's giving you transparency of what other brokers are booking these for. Okay. It's, it's changed the game. I mean, just, just as being on the carrier side, when you can see on, um, on the Houston LTL outbound, you know, if someone's quoting, you know, how I, how I look at it is if, you know, if a customer gives me 40 feet to quote, and I can run that sonar and I can see what those brokers are doing. I can go, you know, I'll cut 20 cents off per mile. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to blow them out of the water. Wait, so, so sonar, okay. It gives you real time data, right? Or like. Supposedly it's a, I, I can't remember exactly what he said, but it's supposed to be the day. I think it's the day before and it's three different brokerages, all their tendered freight. So they they all partner their, up with three brokerages. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just curious how it, you know, it's kind of a disadvantage those three brokerages that are giving out all these rates. You know, it's like a showcase. I think the those rates. brokerages are so big they won't even notice. Okay. I think I think they I think they're going after the right the right people. The um, and I don't think one of them I don't think one of them is a brokerage. I think it's a, a TMS. I'm not positive. Okay. I yeah. Think a Everyone. It's probably selling all the data everywhere. I mean, it's, it's with data, you can make so much money and it's, it's I mean, very dude, important in this industry. Exactly. Like you're saying right there, if I'm opening up a TMS and I'm dealing with all these small brokerages and, you know, they can't really afford, you know, a, a, a certain price per, a price per, um, you know, everything's going up. You know, I mean, they can't afford, you know, having the whole staff on their T on TMS and, you know, a transportation management, I mean, a TMS software that can, you know, cut the, price down by selling data i mean so when, when it's all it's all I, I can't see anybody's data i can't see who booked it yeah well no. all you know just this is what and it also gives a confidence score so you know if, if it says you should get three dollars a mile from depew new york to lancaster texas but it's a one confidence score in the red that probably means that they haven't tendered shit out of depew to, to lancaster and, and that that rate is very inaccurate you know Sure. But it definitely gives you better foresight on, you know, the, the more consistent lanes. You can kind of see what's all going on. So it's, it's worth it. Uh, yeah. If you're running enough trucks, if you're running enough trucks and you give it the, 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 and you, you know, give yourself time to look at it every day and really press into it and you're not running certain set dedicated lanes where you kind of already know, then yeah, if you're sending your trucks into new areas every week, it's definitely worth it. 100%.